I'm Ash from AWOL12.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a character countdown script. Um, exactly the same as what I have on my register page. And as you can see we've got 30 characters remaining and as I type um, the characters will go down in uh, real time. Okay so first of all you will need to have jQuery. So I've just got a jQuery file um, right there in the same directory. Um, and in your index page or wherever you want the um, this to be placed um, what you're going to need to do is first of all um, get the jQuery file so the script type is equal to text forward slash javascript um, and the source is um, jQuery dot js and then we can just end the script off there um, okay, so now I'm just going to create an input type just to um, simulate this um, um, tutorial. So for, you need an ID on these input types now because that's how we're going to um, work with JavaScript. So I'm just going to put in here username as an example because of our, uh, what I've just shown you on the website. Um, I'm going to put a placehold, placeholder in this but if you have Internet Explorer then a placeholder um, placeholders do not work because it's HTML5 um, so if I just echo this out like I mean echo out, see how you've got it inside like that um, that does not work on Internet Explorer so if you're on Internet Explorer you might as well just uh, keep it um, so you've got it before the text box okay um, now underneath this we're going to have an empty div and this div ID is going to be um, username underscore count it's going to count the, um, the characters or echo out the characters and we can just end the div off right there and last but not least um, script type we need to actually get the um, the javascript file which I've created as um, username dash count dot js um, sorry that's the source and the type is text forward slash javascript okay so we get something like that for now okay so inside the username dash count dot js file um, so inside the javascript file first we need to set a variable stating how many uh, what's the maximum character length we can have so text underscore max I'm going to put um, I'm going to just have six as a maximum for that so I'll just make that a bit like uh, that'll do um, so okay so underneath this um, we need to first of all display in that div in this div we have here um, what is the maximum character count first of all so if I just go to here and then just show you here as you can see when the page loads and um, we get the max being shown up first so to do this all you need to do is put a dollar sign and inside um, single quotes with a hash um, basically a hash gets um, a div ID or an ID from the page so the ID we use named as um, username underscore count um, and that is dot HTML and what we want to do with this dot HTML we're going to write the text underscore max inside there so if I just refresh the page oops no it's not worked um, just one second username underscore count Username underscore count. Okay, one second. Okay, the error was um, I forgot to put the forward slash script at the end of username dash count right there. So um, that's why it didn't show up. So I can see we've got that, uh, and that echoes out six, which is the text max in there. So then we can basically just append onto here um, to something like. Um, Characters remaining. 
Then we get that. Six characters. Characters. Remaining. Okay, so now um, we've started to do that. Now we need to actually create um, something here. So basically, when um, username. So that's why we've got here the ID in here. So when something happens, so when we we are going to now put dot key up. So when a key has been pressed inside this username input type, this input box, uh, basically what we're going to do is create a function, um, and this is going to just be. Um, like that, okay, and then inside here we're going to create um, a variable called text underscore length, and that is equal to um, how many characters are in username. So username um, dot val, which is the um, the value. So we want to get the value from the username field, and then we want to specify um, the length, okay. So that will get the length from in real time from that text box. Okay. And now we're going to create another variable called text underscore remaining. Um, and that is equal to text underscore max um, take away subtract from the text underscore length. And then simply enough, um, after we've done that. We're just going to then echo out a new one of these. So basically, we can just copy and paste that down into there. So, um, but we're going to change this to text underscore remaining, and that should just about do it. So if I just save this out, refresh this page, um, as you can see, the oops, no, not going down. One minute. Okay, I uh, put an M there instead of a T. So, sorry about that. And now you can see if we refresh the page, um, the characters are now going down as I type. But one problem is, is that we reach zero and the um, user can then type more and it goes into minus. So to, to uh, fix this, what we can do is on the input type here, we can just specify a max length and that is equal to 6 as we uh, add that here um, so now if I just come back and refresh as I type now once we get to 0 I can know oops one second oh. ok one minute there we go must just needed a refresh. So as I type down, um, I can no longer type any more characters and it stays at zero. So there you go, that's how to create a character remaining countdown. So thanks for watching and I will see you in another video.